Welcome to Airborne Flight Training, coming up on this week's episode. Skyhawk gets dual electronic ignition. ASA and Sporty's partnership offer CFI and ATP training courses. Congress confirms new FAA head. And I'm your host, Talon Lee. Welcome to Airborne Flight Training, a weekly program dedicated to future aviators and aviation professionals. Airborne Flight Training is brought to you in part by King Schools. King Schools has been leading the effort in producing expert aviation training programs and computer-based learning software for over 50 years. Find out why pilots love King teaching at kingschools.com. Now let's get into today's stories. Skyhawk gets dual electronic ignition. Cessna's long-running Skyhawk now features a solid-state, dual electronic ignition system in all new production aircraft, reducing maintenance costs, improving efficiency, and adding another touch of polish for the Type 70th anniversary. A dual Lycoming electronic ignition system is now standard on all new Cessna Skyhawk aircraft regardless of trim. It replaces the older dual magneto ignition system, reducing the number of moving parts and simplifying electrics for longer maintenance intervals, even more fuel burn, and even a touch of increased performance. It's good news for operators willing to fork out the cash for a brand new C-172S in 2025, and maybe even those who plan to buy a used Skyhawk in the 2050s. The change is relatively modest, all things considered, but after 70 years on the market, there's only so much room to improve. The Skyhawk is almost everyone's first aircraft, and even older marks continue to dominate flight school ramps across the country. This adds just a little more cost savings and reliability, relegating old school systems to older aircraft, and removing another pain point of modern aircraft operation. After the break, Adventure Pilot introduces iFly EFBX7 Aviation Tablet. For over 30 years, the Massive Sport Plane Resource Guide has provided expert, credible information, evaluations, and critical analysis of all that the sport aviation world has to offer. The all-new Digital Sport Plane Resource Guide is coming with extensive multimedia features that are constantly updated, an even more comprehensive online guide to all things sport aviation. Available soon. www.sportplane.com DirectFly USA proudly introduces the new Alto NG, a single-engine, two-seat light sport aircraft for the North American market. This simple, all-metal aircraft design provides low-maintenance cost, easy, comfortable access, and responsive flight controls. Equipped with a Rotax 912 engine and a ballistic parachute, the Alto NG is reliable and safe. Learn more about the Alto NG at directflyusa.com. Welcome back. Now let's take a trip around the patch for some shorter stories. Adventure Pilot introduces iFly EFBX7 Aviation Tablet. iFly EFB creator Adventure Pilot teamed up with Huge Rock, a tablet innovator, in announcing the introduction of the iFly EFBX7 Aviation Tablet, a 7-inch Android device designed and built specifically for general and military aviation. At 2600 NITs, the iFly EFBX7 provides the brightest sunlight-readable display of any tablet on the market, combined with durability and app integration for a new cockpit EFB solution. For comparison, most iPads are rated at 500 NITs brightness. Pre-orders for the iFly EFBX7 Aviation tablet will be taken at AirVenture next week. A gift for CFIs. Endorsements made easy. Sporties has just released their 2025 version of the Instructor Guide to FAA Endorsements. It has the updated AC61-65J. The AC is a great tool to help figure out what endorsements there are, but the guide that Sporties came out with actually walks you through each one, gives you sample endorsements, and explains when to use them, including referencing the regulation. H55 B23 Energic Nails Hot and High Flight H-55 conducted a series of flights at Centennial Airport outside Denver, where the airport elevation is 5,858 feet MSL, and on days that were 36 degrees Celsius or 96.8 degrees Fahrenheit, and the resulting density altitude at takeoff was 9,500 feet. The aircraft provided a climb of 500 feet per minute using normal runway distances. The hot and high conditions tested the aircraft's takeoff distance, climb performance, and efficiency. Where some compulsion engines may be challenged by such an environment, the electric propulsion system of the Bristol B-23 Energic yielded steady and reliable results. John and Martha King honored by the U.S. Air Force. 
Air Force officers graduating from the Air Command and Staff College at Maxwell AFB in May 2025 heard from, among others, GA pilots and flight instructors John and Martha King regarding leadership and aviation risk management. The King's presentation was part of the annual Gathering of Eagles Week, in which nine individuals who were identified as having made significant contributions to the air, space, and cyberspace communities were invited to participate as Eagles and speak to an audience of approximately 500 graduating Air Force majors. That's it for today's Strip Around the Patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news. ASA and Sporty's Partnership offer CFI and ATP training courses. A partnership between ASA and Sporty's Pilot Shop has developed a brand new set of course offerings for initial applicants for the CFI Airplane, CFI Instrument, and ATP certificates. The courses combine information from multiple sources to provide a comprehensive preparation for both knowledge and oral exams. The courses are intended to educate the next generation of flight instructors and airline pilots and are now available through the Sporty's Pilot Training app and online. The Flight Instructor Checkride and Test Prep course incorporates Instructor Pilot and CFI Prepware, the Flight Instructor's Manual Textbook by Bill Kirshner, and the Flight Instructor Oral Exam Guide by Michael Hayes. Those have been blended to provide realistic scenario-based training and purposeful concept insights that go far beyond rote memorization. The ATP Knowledge Test and Checkride Prep course integrates ATP Prepware, the Pilot's Manual, ATP Textbook, and the ATP Oral Exam Guide by Jason Blair that gets applicants prepared for the FAA testing that follows the ATP Certification Training Program. The courses are compiled and designed specifically for initial applicants for CFI Airplane, CFI Instrument, and Airline Transport Pilot Certification. The courses are, of course, meant to supplement in-person training done at flight schools to prepare applicants for the FAA exams. After these messages, Congress confirms new FAA head. Hello, pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. Welcome back. Congress confirms new FAA head. The FAA officially welcomed Brian Bedford as its new administrator late last week, setting the table for his work in updating ATC infrastructure. He spoke about his new role, introducing himself to his 40,000-strong workforce. Quote, I'm grateful for the opportunity to join the FAA team. I have a deep respect for the important work FAA employees do to protect the safety and efficiency of our national airspace. I look forward to working with Secretary Duffy and admire his leadership and commitment to delivering this new system within the next three to four years. We're building a modern, resilient FAA, one that embraces innovation and is ready for the future demands of aviation." End quote. Bedford comes into the role with 35 years in the industry and 26 years as CEO of Republic Airways. His first effort will see close ties alongside Transportation Secretary Sean Duffy to, quote, build a new state-of-the-art ATC system, end quote. All those near-miss stories in the news over the past five years have really made an impact in the Beltway, and the funds are there to prevent them now. Duffy said, quote, Bedford will immediately begin visiting FAA facilities nationwide to meet employees, hear their perspectives, and better understand the challenges and opportunities ahead. Building trust and delivering results together will be our focus, end quote. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.